United States Postal Service leaders are said to be tackling mail delays and issues the best that they can. And our state is no stranger to mail problems, so leaders met today to address these issues and see what solutions are available. Kiara Brown shows us more. Senator John Hoven arrived in Minot today for a roundtable discussion with Minot Mayor Tom Ross, USPS District Manager Anthony Williams, and other city officials to confront ongoing mail problems. This is something Senator Hoven has been addressing for years here. So what's it going to take to make a change? Let's find out. First things first, let's address the obvious, workforce issues not only within USPS, but all delivery sectors across the country. I think the biggest challenge is that they're short of people and they've got to hire more people, period. That, that is, in a nutshell, that's what we need is more people. Minot's 33 in-town routes are fully staffed. It's the rural routes that are being neglected and lack of part-time drivers so that full-time drivers can take a sick day and not work so much overtime. But workforce shortages aside, our state's USPS leaders have not been easy to get a hold of, even when the city council reached out to them, and city leaders confronted them about it. But the communication still didn't occur. We, you know, when came to visit city council, um, I did get an email from someone in, in St. Paul indicating that they would not be sending someone. And I think that was kind of a disappointment um, to the, the residents because I think they just needed to know we're short staffed, we have people out ill, whatever the situation was. A new workforce expert has been hired at the Minot Chamber EDC that will address workforce needs and will focus on hiring USPS staff. Another issue discussed was the state of the Minot Post Office. It's a 62-year-old building that's never been updated and has several traffic flow problems. And it's a catch-22 because if people aren't getting their mail, then they come in to get it. Logical. But then the more people that come in to get their mail, the more that you know there isn't room for them to do it and to access it. Uh, so then that gets to be a problem too. They're not, they're not able to solve their problem because they, they have trouble, you know, getting to, uh, getting to the clerk and getting their mail. Postal Service District Manager Anthony Williams said this is the worst shortage of drivers he's seen in 43 years. For KX News, I'm Kiara Brown. The Postal Service Reform Act of 2022, supported by Representative Kelly Armstrong, is intended to improve the finances and operations of the U.S. Postal Service by estimating to save $45 billion over the next 10 years.